Hey, I'm Scav. Welcome to the Extra Office. Today, we've got a special presentation of a full playthrough of Journey. This is an edited version of a walkthrough where I'm going to stop and talk about the architectural ideas that are kind of going on in the spaces of Journey as they influence you along the way. It was really incredible. I had never played it before, and uh, I had a fantastic time. I, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. Is that me? Wow. <gasps> no way. Can I zoom? In some way? It sort of automatically does that. Ah! What did I do? Ooh. Hang on, wasn't I marching towards... Wait, hang on. How quick do these suns move? I was just wa marching that way, right? Oh shit, now I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I'm lost. Wow. Okay, okay. <sighs> that was that was awesome. What a beautiful intro. So what are these? I mean, um I want to say they're they're like graves. Um when I look at look out like that, obviously there's like a oh hello, obviously there's like a gravesite kind of uh, feel. Well, I'm taking it in. I I like how um I like this for example. I really like the okay. I think it's a very minor detail, but the fact that this is almost a pyramid looking adds to the just gives me that one little sense of like is how much of this world is constructed and how much of it is wild right um because already i'm like obviously thinking there's that there's a wildness to this to this region but there's obviously these place place markers um, but just the existence of that, um, oh, there's so, I'm going somewhere. The, the existence of that, like kind of hard edge, right? Like the hard edge is what makes it seem like possibly constructed. Wow. So I'm on a journey maybe to there. I'm guessing that's where I'm going. Oh. <gasps> A jump. I have a jump. I still have a jump. Okay. Oh, how many jumps do I have? This, these things will follow me from now on? Where did they go? Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we got our. We got our things. There's more things over here. These beautiful flags flowing in the wind. So there's there's these pieces of construction. Little pieces of construction, little pieces of architecture. There are already like, um... Ooh. 
Wow, what was that? All right, so I can do this thing. So there's uh, clear, clearly an idea of a ruin, which feels right. I mean, what's this building? Interesting. Oh, cool. This is just a, uh, a distraction. I, I love this. They, cause, because what they did was they, they utilized, like, historically well understood. They made Sky Children of Light. Um, they utilized, like, um, well understood techniques. Like, the columns, like, order, right? But they made it, they, they created a new language in the architecture. Okay. Ugh. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so when we say language, we mean um, something constructed of many parts that are interpreted and uh, culturally understood. And so architecture has a language. And um, I see a lot of Moroccan um, kind of vibes to this. <gasps> Whoa! Wow. I, it also makes me ask questions like, you know, what are the limits of what we consider a game? Um, I shouldn't have used that fly. I gotta recharge. Oh, hello. So what's incredible is that the only signifier, because the symbols, I mean, uh, because the symbols that are in this architecture, the language of it isn't really based in any, um, or isn't immediately recognizable as something we'd understand as like human, right? It's supposed to exist um, kind of outside of our normative perception or other. That because of those that the that language, um, the architecture just has to formally describe to us where we need to go and how it, um, like, so there's 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 like an obvious attention here to something like just alignment, like as simple as something like I'm talking as simple as the alignment of this podium to the central podium and the light, the fact that the light is coming through right. These are all signifying effects, right? That, because if we knew, if I knew this symbol was like blue or green or three, right? I could like be like, oh, there's a three over here and I need a, I need a, I need a four, whatever. Um, but be, but because the symbols are sort of othered to us, um, okay, I'm being transported. I did it. Then, it. then it has to be about um, the structure of space itself. A maze? Well, what I mean by this, Siri, is that ornamentation... Ornamentation originally was designed to be... Um, a replacement for the written word, or at least a, originally ornamentation came out of the fact that the written word was in itself um, not something the average person could attain. So buildings had to literally tell stories um, culturally so that you could kind of, um, in other words, you'd have gargoyles, you'd have statues of people, right? But if those symbols are not legible to you, then all that's there to structure your experience is the, uh, the, the form of the building, essentially. Whoa. Oh, shit. I gotta get across? I must get across. Oh. Wee. There's something over there. <gasps> oh. Dude. 
to create a world that actually that actually um, causes us to think about one that's different from our own. One of the one of the ways that you kind of have to engage it is on the grounds of like the mechanics, like the physical mechanics of it, and how um, you know that's why something like a uh, oh, so something like a a waterfall of sand works really beautifully because it's subtle, right? It's it's a material we we might recognize. Um, but it's doing something that um, that we don't often associate with sand or can't associate with sand. Like a waterfall. I, obviously, I have to do this, right? Hello. Oh, where'd I go? What? Where am I? Where are my buddies going? Oh. <laughs> Cold play, everything is yellow. <laughs> nice. Where's my friend? Hey. What was that? Hi. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Who is this? Is this so, so this is this is somebody? This is It's not a You know what's insane? All right, so this this is not an AI because they're acting illogically. And I, yeah, I know that I can, I can, I can tell. And it's crazy because the, um, I was just watching this Hito Steril talk recently where the, she's talking about how the, the origin, the very origin of what we understand is computation, um, is a game, which was the, the imitation game, um, that the game, you know, a g games, games themselves were what distinguished um, the origins of computation. Computers, when they, when they, oh, oh, when they make computation, uh, they're actually playing a game, um, and and a game is the is the best way to distinguish humans versus computers because humans don't humans play games illogically. Uh, essentially. Wow. It was beautiful. Sorry, I do want to like... No! Where'd they go? Where are you going? Oh, jeez. Where's my buddy? Come on, bud. You gotta come see this. Come check it out. Because what what I love is this threshold, right? I mean, this is a beautiful threshold. The, the, the parting of the kind of molecular effect of of the sand, right? A uh, sand waterfall, in a way, is... showcasing... Uh, whoops. Uh, showcasing the kind of... Again, uh, the kind of discrepancies between what is natural and what is constructed, or what, what is the environment and what are interventions into that environment. So what we saw earlier, the signal, the, the only signal we have um, isn't symbol, right? Or, or weapon or movement, right? There are not a lot of um, direction, but the direction itself is sort of 
Um, environment and a a change to that environment or a um, something that affects that environment. Okay. Wow, this is gorgeous. This game is breathing life into me right now. I mean, we gotta, let's, okay, we're going towards that. So, there still is a lot of, a lot of spatial alignment to do with the eye of the, uh, the eye of the character that we see, ooh, um, giving us direction. So, environment intervention. Even if it's an old intervention or an out-of-place intervention, that intervention is what's calling our attention, not symbol or direction. Oh! Wow! What's that sound? You guys, you guys heard that sound, right? It's like a, um, it's very machinic. Kind of like a boiler room or something. Oh my god, we're freeing its friends! Uh... Nope, I'm flying somehow. <gasps> A TV! It's incredible, because you know where to go, right? Like, there aren't There's the sound again. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. I see. We did it. Oh, where's my buddy? So there's something about... Oh, are we supposed to go this way? We have to, right? Is this one of you guys? <laughs> That'd be pretty tight. Is it possible to even set up like a... Oh, where are we going? Which one? <gasps> oh. Okay. There's danger. Uh, I don't love this. So the kind of like mechanical sounds are really nice. Yeah, this is very... Very Moroccan. Um, there's more guys in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Nice. All right, here we go. Nice. That's wonderful. How beautiful. So, I want to talk about ruins in general, though. Because... Ruins... Are a specific aesthetic category. And... Ruins are actually like believe it or not the aesthetic category of ruins is the category of the cute. Ruins are cute. I need to go sand skating or sand snowboarding. Oh 
Oh. Ah. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I actually feel like ruins are cute. Very cute. In the way that they they want you to nurture them or care for them. Not necessarily restore them though, right? Again, you've got these sand waterfalls, these these architecture is the interventions between the environment and uh, comfort. So, you know, di directing the sand to flow at a certain rate. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, we got another one. Um, you know, moving the sand, shifting it into to, to fall at certain widths. Th those are all interventions on the environment. And I wish people understood architecture more, uh, a little more um, open. Like, it's not just like, you know, buildings, right? There. there we go. Oh. What's next? Whoa, wow. Whee! Oh, I love hitting these gates. It's amazing. Where is my, my friend? Am I going too fast? Did I pass up the... No. Oh, I like the Oculus over here. A hole up above us. Many of them. Wow, beautiful. Look, look at these colors. Oh, holy shit. That's unbelievable. That's so gorgeous. Just the but but the, the the thing that makes this image so beautiful is the is the Oh. Uh, wow. One of the things that makes this image so beautiful is that you can feel the environment in it. It's it's all it's very moody it's it's got a lot of like it's so warm like my body's getting warm right now just looking at this oh unbelievable wow I love watching the sand react under my feet. I know my buddy's up there, but that's okay. But the the color uh, and the the way that the the way that the brightness is so well controlled, like light is so well controlled that when it's finally just like let out onto you and you experience it in a kind of in a colony in an effect with that um with the architecture mediating the way that you receive it jesus christ whoa wow whoa ah what have i done <laughs> i'm about to fall <gasps> Okay. <gasps> Interesting. The sort of structural basin here, where the, where the pylons meet the pay dirt, where the where the <laughs> where the pylons kind of. Uh, you know how far? I mean, I'm not going to tell you how far these things have to go down to find solid rock, <laughs> but that's not what this is about. But still. Clearly, you've got to go low. It must be, you know what? Um, I like that the, the the color has shifted to a little bit of a blue. I think I think a little more blue would be nice. Like this, it should be super cold down here. And I almost want to say like a a to a total blue out would have been like really sick. Not like blue blue, right? Like gray deep, but nonetheless. 
phenomenal. Castle. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay. Color shift. Color shift. See this threshold? This threshold is not about environment or effect. It's about color shift. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There's no one here for me. I can't go fast. This is absolutely beautiful, though. See, like, it makes me think, like, I hate to do this, but it makes me think, like, what are up in these corners? Like, there's clearly a ceiling plane, and there's clearly the, this, like, thing. Like, what is in this? What's up here? Is there something? Oh! Wow, look at these. Don't be a dead end. Okay, good. Look at this, like, ocean of green here. Oh! <gasps> ah! I slid down too quickly. What happened? What did I do? Is that... Is that my friend? Yay! Nice. Beautiful! This is actually, like... Alright. Hot take. Um, there's a little bit of fall guys in this, right? Like, no powers, no, um, no bodies that have different, different abilities than other bodies. Um, and it's just about, like, you kind of got to work together. And then, I mean, it's, it's not quite the same as fall guys, but a little bit. Climb the mountain, fall mountain, uh, whatever they call this mountain, I don't know. Wow, now this is kind of scary. I'm scared. Ah! Oh no! I do not like this. Oh no! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> God, this is beautiful. Very much like a cathedral. Very, uh, like deep spaces these tall windows very very dark oh there we go there's some buddies but there's a scary <gasps> a scary big fish it's a scary big fish don't eat them no <gasps> uh -uh. uh -uh. okay i get it uh uh fuck that guy yeah, like if I squint my eyes, I love how low, li low lit. I love the low lighting of this. And how it feels so. Where did they go? Whoa. Ouch. Did they get me? No. <gasps> Holy crap. This is amazing. Oh my. I was wondering if there'd be this is such a beautiful mechanic. What a well done game. Oh, their scarf is huge! My scarf is a sad nightmare. Um Oh I see. I see, we gotta fly over it. Ah! Nice! <gasps> wow! Oh, incredible! We made it! I'll, co I'll come back to my point, but architecture, I guess. I'll come back to the point of that architecture, give you a point protagonist or antagonist or what does this remind me of legends of the hidden temple oh <laughs> Beinecke library mm. nah
Legends of the Hidden Temple. Look. You had to stand on the different blocks. See how there's like a little symbol right there? They would glow. Right? Would they glow? No, but they would be little buttons. Silver monkey. Yeah, there it is. See, they would glow. So we're we're in the we're in the we're in the lower area of whatever this maybe big I mean there was a clearly a mountain being shown to us, so there's still some journey ahead, I'm guessing. Clearly um kind of culturally specific sort of patterning languages going on here. Um Oh, whoa. Maybe my scarf will grow a little bit. Not much to say here other than Morocco. We're doing it. So we're making our way up this ladder. We are, uh, the sea level is rising. Oh! Don't be another bad guy. Don't be another bad guy. Don't be another bad guy. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, <gasps> it's a big good guy, right? This is beautiful. God, see, like, as much as I love, uh, as much as I enjoy a game like Cyberpunk, these sort of, like, single experience games are just... This is incredible, man. This feels like... Getting a little bit of like Beauty and the Beast vibes. I don't know why. Actually, straight up, this also reminds me of the Secrets of Nim. In the Secret of Nim, the, the rat's nest, Thorn Valley. You'd have to descend... There we go. They would flood that. They would they would flood it, and you'd have to ride up and down. Ah, let's not worry about it. I like the chains. And I like how they're. I think it's it softens the look that they're not like chains, chains. They're like zigzagged chains. I think that's important because that's a little less like threatening aesthetically. Wow. Oculus. The same shape of the Oculus is the same octagon that I'm on. I think it's an octagon. Oh, there I am. All oh, right on. There's my bridges. There's me and my buddy. Tight. There we go. Sled riding. Down to the lower area. The beast. The shaft. Unbelievable. Oh no! There's a lot more ahead! I hope I don't have to do anything more on my own. I really can't. Like, I'm gonna get my butt kicked if I face- if I have to face another, like, beast by myself. I need- I need my buddy. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> ah! It's beautiful. It's also like, um, you know, reliant on certain weather conditions. So, so like those, those little pieces.
those little things we leaned up against that's you know that's architecture they're interventions between us and the environment which was so clearly uh you know an issue especially there ah it got warm again there's clearly an elemental uh oh thing and i believe you know we've done the hot and now's the cool i'm glad we're very thin we're very linear. Oh, jeez. Uh, what? I'm glad they use the word signal to say we signal to one another. I see. Well, you know what? What's one thing that's kind of crazy is that it seems like the only place to take shelter is in a is in its own skeleton. What? We go back down? I don't love that. This is so cool. I can't believe this is a random person. That's outrageous. Pro I, I can't imagine proposing this game to somebody and having them, like, agree to do it. Right? Oh. Wow. Oh, I love the, the camera angle going crazy. Here we are. I do like when the, uh, when the computer can, you know, kind of controls the camera in a way. You know, Final Fantasy X was really good at that. The camera angles were, like, made for you, which, which basically turns games into cinema, like, and, and film when when the when the the camera is so controlled ah what what the heck how'd they fall in the snow like that oh my goodness well, these environmental interventions did not work, right? And that's what makes that's actually what makes this game like frightening. Or what makes this area of the game frightening is that all this work all this work went into these huge pieces of construction and they're 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 being blown apart right the environment is the uh antagonist here ah oh no oh no uh, ah lightning uh Oh, it's scary. Oops, where am I going? I can't even signal. What I like here is this conversation about like distance and time where in in gaming, in video games, sorry about my background. All right. In, in video games, um, you know, distance is really measured in, in, in terms of time, not really like actual distance. So any kind of experience they want to. Oh, we die. Oh, we go down. Did we actually not make it? Wow. But the sense of time in this game is also really to me crucial oh
They gave me a new scarf. Damn. Damn! Okay, now we're talking. Thank you for the lift. Amazing. Right, the last element would be, uh, air. We did, uh... Well, actually, I don't think we really did fire, but th that's okay. But we did hot sand. Cool. Yeah, definitely some water levels, air and water. Oh wow, I turned into a firefly! This is amazing. There's a, the very last threshold. On center right the snow the, the effect of the snow coming through there and giving those lines like towards the center kind of like going to hyperspace and you know in Star Wars or something <laughs> effective as a way of like demarcating or bringing me in wow this is just beautiful here we are. Definite vanishing point. Incredible. So that was it. Journey. Beautiful. We walk off the mountain into space, into the light. It's, it's fitting though that the light should be that light should be the um kind of ending uh material right we did wind we did water we did you know heat we did cold right but the but that the very final piece is light that's uh really incredible yeah the way that the way that architecture frames this game oh my god that's this that's the opening image oh sick that was sick actually they got me there this is the this is the starting page beautiful transition that was actually really well done the way that, the way that that worked um kind of um uh continued the concept of the game into the mechanic of like not a game mechanic like a menu mechanic and a graphic mechanic that's tight that's a nice that's a that's a detail right that's a that's a detail of narrative really well done on that thanks for listening of course please like share and subscribe to get more videos like this comment down below what game you think i should do next come find me on patreon to support my work and see me live on twitch to join in the fun see you next time